hi welcome to the second video video number two how to copy all the item to a new form and uh, display the data on it so here um, in the new form I call it form one I just simply copy from uh, this side I copy all here okay and the combo box also those three combo box this field to go left the middle to show the page number the right button and the trigger button for the beginning so I copy all to this new form which calls form 1 then the button name is A1 okay A2 A3 A4 and A5 the image name are G1 G2 G3 G4 G5 so you need to rename all the object uh, as a serial number okay from 1 to 100 or from 1 to 50 so here also the text box is b okay b sorry b1 here b2 b3 b4 b5 okay here is the code to show the code inside the page okay the field to show the page number which page number i mean it so you need to put this calculation here to let the page number get from to let this function get the page number from here okay it will work with those three combo boxes so this is the left button the right button the name you put it no matter what name you put put any name you want but here in the bottom you cannot put any name you want that is impossible okay you can put a z1 z2 okay it's okay but it have to be a serial and it have to be a single character before the number okay like a t1 t2 t3 okay but you cannot say ax1 ax2 ax3 so that is a conflict with the function so you need to give a single name character name with a number behind a1 a2 a3 a4 like that b1 b2 and as follow okay g1 g2 g3 g4 okay is that kind of nomination you have to follow if you don't follow that you're going to enter in a error somewhere which i don't know okay so here you don't need any code behind you see the data nothing just create a combo give the name okay don't forget the name if you are not sure please put the same name as we put here okay so until you understand the function then you change the name okay you put in the function so any name you put here no problem but just be sure those name are inside the function where these guys are calling the left and the right button and the trigger button so they need those three names okay no conflict you see item list row list active item those are three combos combos you have to rename as follow okay don't forget the name just put the name as we put the name cb item list cb raw list and cb active item okay now inside the model okay which function we copy we go to the model we see the grid view is here then i go to the grid view uh, zero okay as you see grid view zero is here then i move to this fill rs okay this this combo to fill uh, a combo box this function to fill a combo box with the table uh, information which any table you just put the table name okay uh, the combo will fill the rest if you feel you check you see that there is error always you don't understand just on this one to escape some error and see what they could be work but in fact if you don't touch here everything will work fine okay and then format button button we didn't use that for yet but just give you in case the next lesson you can use them in the next uh, lesson for now we have function inside this model inside the left button you will see what code we put behind i just simply copy this code as you see here from the preview form to here okay then here also i copy the preview the right code from here Okay, put the code there the trigger button as so so we are ready to test the form 
as uh, we saw before we click the triangle we see all the pictures displaying the system so there is six pages where it, it know that there is six pages here okay you see there is uh, six pages okay it show that there is a six okay no sorry here it show that there is a six pages one row two row three four five six row okay here is the item displayed here the first first five item displayed it show those first five items displayed here okay so here is the list of all items in the table automatically it will be filled in it you don't need to do nothing just create the combo box and call the function it will do all those jobs for you so now we can place more button on this function here on this form here let's go to design view we copy this item these three item one two three then we copy we passed the here to the right side okay then i passed again if you like to the right side and then i passed again to the right side to make more item okay here, here is a g5 so here i need to make make a g6 as follow we have to follow the order all the pictures name should should be the same g7 here was six here seven now this is g8 here the first one is a5 so here is a6 a6 a7 a8 okay good now here also here is b5 i need to make a b6 b6 b7 okay and b8 okay now i have to add three new button okay so i need to change the function i need to change the number of button you see now before we have five now we have eight so i need to change here here and here i need to change the number of button to display so i tell the guy first on the left side which you scroll back to the left i tell in the function you see as a grid view function here if you check i move this comma here you see number display number of uh, display number scant okay so that means you have how many object to display it's eight object to display here also the right button it has eight button to display and then the, the trigger also is eight button to display so i'm done one two three i have changed all the code behind in the function so let's try if there is no error so grid view as you see <clears throat> now we have four pages before we have six pages so why we have four because eight 28 divided by 8 that means 4 so you see it is 8 then I go to the next page you see page 2 of 4 page 3 of 4 page 4 of 4 okay if uh, I click example I click on this one I see the ID 28 because the last item has ID 28 so if I click on the, this one ID 26 I go to the page 2 I click this one ID 12 you check the table that is ID 12 okay so now don't be confused you can do whatever with those buttons we will show you how to display them as you want and make something uh, look really good now there is three button here I can put those three button here as I want push this one up a little bit okay those three button also here a little bit up okay no now you see around my phone no matter where I put okay the system it will work see it will work so here is a, a, a trick you know for access and you have to 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 be a little bit you know have imagination okay 
to increase your imagination about the design, about the display. Okay, now one of my friends asked me how, my God, I can uh, uh, simply display the item list in the button. So this is a button to click, right? So this is the picture to click. I will show you an example, okay? This is the picture to click which item. And then this is the description in example, okay, of the item. The description of the item here. Then here also I display the second list. Here, sorry, my PC is, uh, I think is a little bit working. Okay, here is it. Then I display the description on the bottom. If I have a second description, I can put here, put on the right side. But it is same. Since the name of the button is there, so everything will work fine. <coughs> As you see, it will work fine. Just sim simply the display mode. Okay, if I want it, okay, this button, especially, this is the image, this button, the A, is, can be, you see, I can make it round, okay can make it round then I display this only this guy will just stay round and then the code it will fail it okay it will fail it as you see so you don't need to uh, how to say this border color okay let me show you something here I can increase the border color uh, I can say uh, a little bit right uh, here doesn't want me to click okay here also you can increase okay let's take this guy okay this guy also picture put here this also sorry this one I want okay all right so here I change the color for the button and make it right to make it visible Two or okay, this is good. Then I make it format, special format. Uh, is this a button? This is a picture. This is a button. The G, is, ah, the G is not a button. The A is a button. This is a picture box. So make mistake. The A is a button. Let me make uh, transparent. Okay, the A is button here. This is the image. Okay. This is text box. Okay. This is a button. This is the button is behind the image the A is button the G is picture if you can make without mistake just make the button B and then the picture P P1, P2, P3 to make less, less error ok you can put it here each item picture can be displayed ok here is it Okay, let's make it red as you want it. Okay, red color. The shape, let's make the shape round and then the formatage, we make it like this. Okay, so be sure the picture is on the top, otherwise, it will go behind the bottom. Okay, this also you can make it transparent as you want it. Transparent. The text on it can be white, whatever you like. So if you display, see the reference go to the bottom. As you see, the reference go to the bottom. The description also. So I can make this list move around how I want it. As you see, if all those buttons are like this, as follow, like I do like uh, uh, we do here okay we can format all those 
but on, to be the same, to make a line like a form, like a, a table, like a display, as a list box. You can do whatever you want, since, you see, everything is working fine. So, for the next lesson, we will try to catch this information, item 18, from this combo box list. I can make a, a, a function, or how to call it, just a small code a, with a SQL and Visual Basic. Do command, run SQL, insert into table 1, okay, combo column 0, don't know it because it's ID. Then I will say column 1, it is this field, column 2, it is this field in the table, column 3, is this field in the table. Very easy. Column one of the comp box will come to no no STL image link re, ref item directly uh, with, on what you want in the cell table. Okay, we can make a cell table. Then wait, if we click here, the cell table will be filled on the right side. Okay, that's for the third video. Thanks.